So I've seen this one YouTube thumbnail that says, Charlie Cook Kirk believes that TikTok is turning children trans. Do you agree with the statement? It, it is helping turn kids trans, yeah. TikTok is playing a role in making them think that they might have gender identification issues. This is Chloe Cole, she's a detransitioner. In my experience, I learned about transgenderism through the internet at roughly about the age of 11 or 12. And I mean, it captivated me. I had body image issues and it felt like I found the explanation for as to why I felt so different from the women around me. Social media in general led you to believe the wrong idea and it also, and that in turn it went, made you go down a path that maybe wasn't right for you. I mean, it's beyond not right for me. This has left permanent effects on my body. I might not be able to have children. I don't have my breasts anymore. I have complications from the puberty blockers, the testosterone, and the surgery. That's Three correct. years after I've stopped taking, taking all of them. I'm very suspicious about, okay, but well, I understand. Are you calling her a liar? No, but I am saying that I'm pretty sure a mastectomy, that's not in the trans guidelines of how people should transition. Oh, it is. No, it's 100%. It's, look at w it's in the WPATH path guidelines. Look at w path guidelines that came out last They've been lowering the age, the age guidelines for hmm. years. I'd like to say that you're wrong about these, the, about trans people being, being indoctrinated. So about my case being a fringe case, mm -hmm. I mean, I've met hundreds of other detransitioners, some even younger than I was, and have come out of it with trauma that they're left with for life, sterile, mm. without parts of their bodies.